Hey guys. Hey my sweet peas. So we leave Lombok today to go back to Bali. We go back to Uluwatu for 10 nights and then we move on to Thailand. But we still have 10 nights left in Bali. So we have to get a taxi for an hour and a half to the port, then get a three and a half hour boat and then get an hour taxi to Uluwatu from the port in Bali. So it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day indeed, but, uh, but we just had our brekkie. I had a dragon fruit smoothie bowl, it was very yummy. And we have 10 minutes till the taxi comes. So let's get a move on. There he is. There he is. Searching the room for lost belongings. Bye beautiful hotel, I'll miss you. So I've realized that I got the time wrong. So we've gotten to the port like two hours early. Whoopsie. I'm so silly. And it's very hot. And I need a poo, but I don't want to go in those horrible toilets. I'm a silly sausage, so this long travel day has just gotten a little bit longer. Could have been chilling by the pool. Could have been chilling by the pool. I, I looked at the pool this morning and I thought, oh, I wish I had time for a swim. Yeah. Little did you know you did. Okay. Yeah. camera's a bit steamy you'll have to forgive me i'm just in the hotel kitchen area it's like a communal kitchen i'm gonna have a peppermint tea my favorite drink i'm gonna make jamie a little coffee before we go for brekkie jamie's just actually walking to an atm to get money out to give to the people that are bringing our moped over jamie is such a coffee head he is truly addicted to coffee I'm addicted to herbal teas and matcha. Jamie's addicted to having five extremely strong coffees a day. The camera is so steamy. So I didn't film anything last night apart from that little clip of our dinner because it was such a long travel day. The boat was so rocky towards the end. I was fearing for my life. Everybody looked like they were going to pass out from pure terror. There was a guy behind me and Jamie who, and I don't get seasick, but looking at this guy was making me feel seasick. He had his hand, he had his head on his hand like this and he was white as a sheet. He was like drooling, salivating around the mouth, trying not to be sick. I literally had to look away from him because it was making me feel sick and I don't even get seasick at all. By the time we got back, we just wanted to order food and collapse on the bed and watch Shameless. So that's what we did. So I didn't really film anything. I ordered a Asian chicken. It was like a jackfruit chicken salad with different veggies and then crunchy noodles. It was so good. Then I got a vegan Snickers bar for dessert and Jamie got a chocolate orange cheesecake. It was a wonderful time. It was exactly what I needed after a long travel day. Also my hair, I'm not putting any heat on my hair at the minute to try and get my natural curls back. And I actually really like how it's looking. There's so much healthy regrowth at the top because I have naturally ginger curly hair. So the top is really nice. And then it's just like the ends that are a bit more dead and bleached to fuck. I think it looks kind of cute, kind of crazy, but kind of cute. Anyway, I'll see you for brekkie. Bye. Coconut yogurt, fruit, and this granola is the best granola ever. Look how chunky. Smash. Jamie has his favorite scrambled tofu on toast. Is it delicious, darling? This is so yummy. Ooh. You just can't go wrong with a bit of fruit and yogurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, darling. I keep dropping it on myself. Okay, we're gonna go to the gym. I'm just gonna do 12, 3 30, I think, on the treadmill. Let's go, handsome. He's just been doing his skincare routine. He has a skincare routine and I don't. I'm old. <laughs> the wrinkles are starting. sweaty 
despite the aircon. It seemed extra hot today. Immediate shower upon arrival home. I can't remember if I've already showed you this, this vlog, but this milkshake leave-in conditioner is so good. It's so good. It leaves your hair feeling so nice and moisturized and it also smells exactly like a vanilla milkshake. You'll always be baffled by how when your hair is wet, it looks like you literally have two strands of hair. What is this? What is this? And then it dries and it like multiplies by 14 inches. Anyway, I'm gonna sit by the pool for a little bit and then I'll see you later when we do something else. Love ya. I'm reading A Little Life and the girlies weren't lying. I was warned before I started this. It's intense and I feel like it's <laughs> only gonna get worse. Look at our hair. Windswept and interesting. <laughs> What's that? Is that not a thing? I've never heard that. Have you not? Never. Uh, I'm sure it's a thing. What, like a freight? Like a saying? Yes, a freight. A freight. Dare you? How very dare you. Good morning. So I wasn't gonna film today because I currently have this rash on my face and focus. And it's making me feel quite hideous. Basically, I was ice icing my face with a I was raw dogging my face with a straight up ice cube, which I didn't realise you're not supposed to do. You meant to wrap it in a little cloth or something. Um didn't realize and then I proceeded to I'd ran out of makeup wipes so I used a little tea towel that we have in the bathroom to scrub my face which I realized had hand soap on it so that in combination with the ice has left me with this gnarly rash and it's made my face all puffy and she's just not looking cute okay she's not looking cute but I thought fuck it I'm not gonna look perfect all the time this stuff happens, so we're gonna film anyway, even though <laughs> looking at myself is stressing me out slightly. You know what? It's not even, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's just, it just does not, it's not looking cute. It's not looking very cute, but we live to tell the tale. That My focus on my camera at the minute is whack. It's whack. But... We've settled into a really nice routine here. It's been a few days since I last filmed. We've been getting up, getting a bit of brunch, a bit of brekkie, going to the gym. Um, I've been doing some editing and stuff and we're just settling into a nice routine, which is funny because we actually leave Bali on Saturday in a few days to go to Thailand, which I'm so excited for. I am so excited. We've booked the first part of the trip. And guys, do you know what is filming in Thailand at the same time that we're there? The White Lotus. The White Lotus is filming in Thailand when we're there. If I see them, I will have some kind of small stroke. It's my favorite program ever. It's my favorite program that has come out in recent years. It's my favorite TV show that's come out since Breaking Bad, which I just think is the perfect show. It's so well written, so well directed. And The White Lotus is the only thing for me that comes anywhere near, comes anywhere close. If I see them shooting anything, I will wave i'll tell mike white the director that i have a monologue prepared if he wants me to perform it and maybe he can give me a scene i don't know i don't know yeah i thought i would just film my day today we've got a little productive routine going on don't we honey productive gym breakfast dip <laughs> gym breakfast dip son repeat i'm gonna get my gym stuff on also guys i found the best matcha spot it's the most delicious matcha so I'm gonna get one of those also if my taxi driver will drive me. Yeah. Sounds so thrilled about that. Also gonna take in some laundry to get done on the way to Brecky. It's a beautiful day. Hi. Ellie. Ellie. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna take some of this away and put it in my matcha. Because if you haven't tried my coconut water matcha yet, what are you doing? Oh no, my camera's flashing red. I didn't charge the battery. How many beverages do two people need? How is it? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Really good. Just sort me out. Yum. 
Yumble scrumbles. I'm tired this morning. Made a little avo toast. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, you too. Thank you. Honestly, the best matcha I've ever tasted. It's so yummy. Okay, extra ice. In goes the coconut water. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go to the gym. I usually just do a 12, 3.30 on the treadmill and then some ab stretchy things. Sometimes I'll take the incline up to 14 if I'm feeling saucy. But we'll see what I wanna do when we get there. These, they're the Skull Candy Crushers. I love them so much. You can turn the base up. Where's the little slidey nodule thing? There it is. They're extraordinary. my nails the other day and look how pretty they're so gorgeous you see they've got loads of texture on them little bubbles they're my favorite nails I've ever had they're so cute okay I can feel the matcha rumble in the jungle the bowel movement cometh this is an avocado and banana protein smoothie I got it yesterday it's so yummy yummy dessert love island Hi guys, it's a couple days after I last filmed. I didn't film anything yesterday during the day because I was literally doing the same thing that I filmed the other days. We woke up, went for breakfast, had the same scrambled tofu, and then went to the gym. I did some work on my laptop by the pool. It was a lovely day. And then I did film some clips of dinner because we went and got my favorite burger from this place called Alchemy. It's so delicious. It's a jackfruit patty, so it's made from pulled jackfruit but it tastes so meaty and they put gherkins and relish they serve it with the crispiest potato wedges ever it's honestly my favorite one of my favorite meals it's so delicious i've had it countless times <laughs> since we've got to bali but i just thought i would end the video by talking a little bit about balance and how i stay consistent with my healthy habits and i'm obviously not perfect all the time there's no such thing as being perfect especially when it comes to your diet and how healthy you are Health is really a spectrum and it's about looking at your diet and your lifestyle as a whole. Staying consistent with your healthy habits really for me is all about finding the right balance and I know we hear that all the time and I think it can be kind of hard to understand until you do find the balance that works for you and everybody's so different it's really about finding the foods that agree with you, the foods that give you energy and make you feel good, the workouts that work for you, the exercises that make you feel great and don't completely wear you out. For me, it's taken a lot of trial and error over the years. It certainly has. But I think I finally found a balance that really works for me and keeps me in good shape and keeps me energized. You really don't have to have this all or nothing mindset when it comes to what you eat and how you work out. I used to think that every workout I did had to be a crazy hit, high intensity, massive calorie burner, which is just absolutely not the case. Just go with how you feel on the day, listen to your body. If your body just wants to do a walk, do a walk. If your body doesn't wanna do anything, if you're feeling worn out and tired, just have a rest day. It's really not that big of a deal. Like I say, health is about how you live your life as a whole. It's not about one meal you eat. Having a pizza or a burger or a slice of chocolate cake one day doesn't make you unhealthy. You can balance it all out. I love salads. They're one of my favorite things to eat. I love just roasted vegetables. I genuinely love food like that. I love smoothie bowls and oats and the more nutritionally dense food. I love all of that stuff, but I also love burgers, pizzas, pastas, desserts. You know what I mean? It's You can have both. You don't have to pick one or the other. And that's something that I have really learned over the years. And I think as soon as you find what works for you, and you get into the groove of that, you're good to go. So don't push yourself too hard. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. If anything, I think that has the opposite effect and you just get burnt out and you're not as productive and you're not as consistent. Go easy on yourself. Eat the foods that make you happy and bring you joy. Also eat the foods that are good for you and your body. Have both. 
and do workouts that make you feel good and that is my biggest piece of advice and again it might take some trial and error it's taken me a long time to find the workouts and exercises and the foods that really make me feel good but once you get there it's easy just to get in the swing of things you know what i mean but i hope you've enjoyed the video we leave for thailand tomorrow i am feeling a little bit ill today i have a sore throat and a bit of a headache but i'm hoping it's just something mild that is going to pass because i don't really want to have the flu or anything like that on the plane tomorrow morning when we have to get up at like half four in the morning so prayers for me please but i will see you in the next vlog when we're in thailand i'm so excited thanks for watching love you bye